We're going to have two more questions. I'm sorry we're running over. I know we told you 8 o'clock, but we're running a little late. By the way, we were 50th out of 50 states, except for one incident. Does anybody remember what caused that? Sandy. Sandy. Is that sad? Wow. Young man. I'm Sam Brown. Uh, I'm from Cherry Hill. And I want to thank you for coming to this town hall. <coughs> Healthcare has been brought up many times over the, the course of this town hall. And I wanted to ask you about HR 676, the bill sponsored by John Conyers that would in, like implement single payer healthcare or Medicare for all. Which has Medicare for all and single payer healthcare in one form or another is it has been used in every other modern nation except the US. And the fact that in twenty seventeen we're so far behind mm -hmm. is something that needs to be fixed. Well first of all thank you for coming to the town hall, showing up and participating. As you can see, there's not too many people around your age that have that passion, so thank you. I can't wait to be having the discussion on single payer. <laughs> but we're not there, unfortunately. We, well, no, we're there. <laughs> They're not there. So to have that discussion will be my greatest joy because that means there are people in charge running Congress and the White House who get it. The fact is that you mentioned that. There are several models, models on there. Conyers, who is just a fantastic representative, known him since first coming in a few years ago, who understands those issues. But the fact is, those who are in favor of a single payer understand that we do not control the House nor the Senate. Now, it sounds like a cop-out. That doesn't mean we don't continue to have this conversation. We have to. But let's remember right now, we're trying the best we can to hold on to the health care we have. Which, yes, we won round one. Round two is coming very quickly, folks. And we have to be ready. Now, the fact that every kind person in the state of New Jersey, with exception of one, said that was the wrong bill for New Jersey, because it was, gives us hope that people are listening to you who go to different town hall meetings, who are calling, who are having this advocacy. But that's going to come again. Rodney Freelingheisen is the chairman of the Appropriations Committee, an extremely important and high level position. For him to come out against the president's plan was a very tough move for him. And, to, and he's getting clobbered by his caucus right now. Now, Rodney and I are on very different planets on a lot of the policy issues.